We shall now learn MVC data entry with jQuery and HTML5. In our previous exercise, we saw that MVC does allow us an AJAX based data entry form, but the problem is that file upload cannot be integrated into it. To integrate file upload through asynchronous upload, we need jQuery and HTML5 in combination with MVC. So let us see all the steps that are required for doing this. We will continue with the same example. So first of all, I will come to the solution explorer. You have to have a registration template. So this template is appearing here. The same template as we had in the previous case. The only difference is that for client side validation, we have added a required is equal to required attribute here. This is meant for client side validation. This is HTML5 based. So since our purpose is to get perfection with the input control for the file upload, we have added a client side validation which was not available through MVC as we saw in the previous chapter. Next. No other change is required in this. Retain it as usual, make it as usual. Then we'll come to index.cshtml. Here what you have to do is, you have to create a form with html.begin form, not ajax, because ajax will be done through jQuery. So a normal html form, posting to index and home, through post and enc type, and give it an ID so that it can be accessed through the jQuery. Then as usual editor for model to display the form and the submit button is replaced this time by an A tag. href is null JavaScript so it won't be a normal A just a link button that appears. Having an ID of A submit. We'll attach a click event handler to this in JavaScript. So this is the second thing that we have to do that is put a simple form with an A tag here. Next let us come to see the JavaScript side. This is the date picker that we had added last time. I can show you the code. So it is scripts jQuery function dollar validator date date picker and here we can start typing the code for the click event of the A button that we have added above. So the ID is A submit so dollar hash A submit dot click pick the form here we have simply uh, added information that you can do some pre-validation on the file that has been selected by the user there are a number of methods in HTML5 using jQuery. So those you can research on your own. We haven't added them to this one so as to keep the things simple. So uh, if that is written then you can simply show an alert and return back. If $form.valid This is used to run the validators. So that client side validations as we have hooked through annotations, they continue to work. So the moment this function is called, a validation will occur. And if the form is valid, then, then you will move on to read the form data for the entire my form. This is my form, the ID that we gave. The form data this time includes the entire registration form including the file submit also. So this means that the variable fd now contains the entire file as well as the data from the drop down list from the radio buttons and all. Remember that this is an HTML5 function. So this code will work only in browsers that support HTML5. And you have to take care that it is in, H in IE 10. 
that the complete HTML5 support is available therefore it will run only in IE 10 and above whereas it runs very well in Chrome and other HTML5 browsers. This is the normal AJAX call using jQuery. On success a certain information is displayed. This information will be the JSON that will be returned by the action method on the server side. So the JSON might be saved or it might say some error occurred and this is the reason maybe some exception occurred. And you can make use of this place for adding code for resetting the form elements. We haven't done that in this case to keep the thing simple. Otherwise you will have to empty the text boxes, reset the radio buttons. You can write that code at this point or maybe include a function and call that function from here. Then th these are two required values for preventing jQuery from doing its normal functions because we are using HTML5 for processing the form data. So this is what you require on the client side a few lines of code. Coming to the server side, this is our, uh, let me show you what functions exist at present. One is the get qualification data for the drop down list. The index that displays the data entry form and a validate birth date, the remote function. on the annotations that we added in one of our previous lectures. And now we shall complete this one. The HTTP post, it receives two arguments. One is the posted file and one is the table registration filled entirely with the data that has been put by the user. Writing the code here, if model state is valid, else please validate so this will be our server side validation, storing the records to database in case everything goes well. We are using try catch, in case something goes wrong we will return json error with the exception message and we can then we can save the file to content by zero that is the path. File will be saved by the same ID as the ID of the current record. And we are returning JSON saved. So this is our server side function that we have to write. And now let us run it and see whether our data gets saved or not. This is the form that we see. Let us click on blank. Everything is firing well, including the validator for the file upload. We can save certain email ID. Date of birth, we will deliberately choose a wrong one. Qualification, click on submit. That remote is also firing. So now we can correct it and submit. This one is firing well. Choosing a file. And now let us click on submit. It says saved. This is the JSON that has been returned by the server. Click OK. So it's saved. Now if we try to save the same record twice, because email is a primary key, it should give an error submit error and error occurred while updating the entry see the inner exception for details this is the error message that has been returned by this one and this is the saved that we received there please validate will hardly be seen because client side validation is very powerful in this case 
So this code will not run or will never run. If model state dot is valid, will always run because it will always be valid because it is validated properly at the client side only. Now we can come and check for the database whether we have received the entry or not. It is the 18th entry that is there and let us now verify whether we received that file also. You will have to click on show all files. So it is by ID 18 that the file has also been uploaded correctly. So uh, before I close it, I can give some remarks to this. First step is create a usual begin form not the AJAX one. Then come and write a few lines of code for the posting and finally come to your home controller and write a few lines for saving to the database and uploading the file. This time you are returning JSON. So this JSON will be presented to the AJAX function that will be displayed there. I am providing the source code you can look at the source code and I would suggest that you do this exercise yourself also. Thanks.